Right, hi there, guys. So what I thought I would do is a little bit of a build out, and um, just so when you come into chat ammo, you know what you're doing, um, how to do it. I'm going to make it really, really simple. So I'm going to show you the simplest way to build out a chatbot that's going to get you more money in, and I'm going to get you earning money, I'm going to get you starting to build your lists and everything else. Right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into import account. Right. Now all you would do with import account is just simply click on the page that you want. So first you would log in with Facebook, come up with all of your pages, and then you just need to click whichever page that you're after. Right, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to find a page. So I haven't got a clue. Um, let's have a look. Clothing store example. Uh, yeah, right, so we'll do clothing store example. And we'll locate that, and it's going to say success. So we'll now link together your chatbot and your actual page. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here a little bit and we're going to go into this one, which is create your visual flow builder. So we're going to click on create new flow and it was clothing. Yep, clothing for example. I'm going to OK that. And it's going to bring us to this page, right? Now, this is your basic, everything's all in here. So it's all really simple. So you've got quite a few different um, things. Now, these here at the start bot flow, I like to label them because later on what we can then do is we can use these as JSONs, we can use them as m.me links, which is basically points of entry, right? So we're going to call this one um, clothes sample flow, right? Apart from I can't spell. So clothes sample flow. We don't want any labels. Well, basically I'm in the UK, so I find it very, very difficult to add labels. Um, so it's a bit of a nightmare. However, if you're outside the EU, you add labels in here, which is always a good idea. So I'm just going to OK that one. Now, the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to do an action button, right? Now, this action button is when you click on a website and you see where it says get started, that is where this action button comes from. It does have some other features as well, but at the minute, all we're going to do is get started template. So you can have as no match template, you can have unsubscribe template, you can have resubscribe template, all the rest of these little things, right? So they're all just in there for you. So we're going to click on that. I'm going to have that as the action button. And that is the very beginning. So next, what we might want is we might want a picture. So we'll put a picture there and double click on that. Click on your picture and just click on a picture to add it. Once that's all done, it's cool. Now, again, we're in the EU. So at the minute, I can't turn on display type in which I had no idea why the EU has decided to do this, but apparently it's done. So we're going to OK that one. And all we're going to do is just join that with this, all right? So it's that simple. Next, we're gonna have a little bit of text, which drag and drop the text in. I'm gonna say, hi, oops, I'm gonna say hi. I'm gonna say the first name, because we want to start personalizing this. Thanks for joining us within our clothes demo. Right. So now this one, we're going to put, we could put a display a delay on, but we don't really want to, because this is going to take a little while for Facebook to register and send it through. So I want this one coming straight afterwards, right? And of course, okay that. So right now, you have a little picture when somebody logs in, whoops. Um, you have the start and step, you have your action button, and you have your first bit. Now, we want to ask them what they want to do. The, re the way we we'll do this is we're going to either use buttons or we can use quick reply or we can use carousel. Now, you have different aspects you can do on each one. Now, buttons, you only allow three. But once you click a button, that button will always be there. Now, a quick reply, once you click the quick reply, then once they've clicked it, they will disappear. It doesn't matter what they click. As soon as they click something, that's them part of your messenger list. Right? So we'll get their email address, we'll get their phone numbers, we'll get everything that we want. But on this particular example, what I'll do is we'll just put in um, some buttons. All right. So we'll just go button. You can also right click. Um, I'm on a Mac, so right click doesn't particularly work. <laughs> now then, with this button, as you can see, we'll put in button text and we'll put in um, jeans. All right. We'll just put in anything. So button type, what do we want it to do? Do we want it to be a new post back, which is where we're going to add 
another bit of text or another photograph or something like this. Do one, there's a post back that we've already done before. So we can go out and find another post back that we've done on this particular page. Do one, there's a web URL. Web URL, full, compact, or tall. Or do we want the user's birthday, the user's email, or the user's phone number? Do we even want the user's location? Or do we want them to call us? Unsubscribe, resubscribe, chat with human, chat with robot. We have more or less unlimited choices here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put new post back. Right, so that's the first button there. I'm going to name this new post back because remember, every one of these new post back parts we can link into. All right, so I'm going to call this one jeans. So we'll put jeans flow. Really simple. I'm going to look at that one. Now we can also put different sequences on this. You would have seen the little sequence bit here. So if I build some sequences already, I can put a little sequence in there. But I don't really want a sequence on this one. Now, what else? I might have somebody who wants to come in and they only want to know about their genes. Right? Now, if they only want to know about their genes, they don't want to go all the way through a chat, but it's pointless. So we can actually add a little bit here and we'll put in genes. Right, and what this is going to do, it means that they can find whichever part they want via the keyword of jeans. Really cool. Right, so next we're going to put this one here. Um, we'll put this one as T-shirts. So T-shirts. And we're going to select the button type as post back again. I'm going to OK that one. And remember to type this one. So T-shirts. And we'll put that one. So I would personally put another little tag in here so we can have it um, firing anytime we want to. So this one here, we'll put in t-shirts. Right. Um, so you could put in, in amongst these different codes, you could put in tops, you could put in anything actually. Um, so whatever you think that people might press, that's what we want. All right. So we've got the two, got two things there. We can just flow on now. We can put in images or we'll put in a carousel um, carousel could work very nicely let's get rid of that um so a carousel we could now put different jeans items in here all right so we'll put a little delay on this one. Oh wait i can't there we go right so this one would have a tiny little delay now i still put um typing on display because i quite like it and um, it looks right now in amongst here we can put in all of the different pictures so we'll put a jeans picture in there i'm not going to use a jeans picture because i haven't got none handy but we're just going to put them a couple of little things in here just so we've got something so you can see now you can have if they click the image then they can go straight to a destination so if you have an e-commerce store which we can build out in here as well you could send them straight to your e-commerce store you could send them straight to a website you could send them off to your client's website you could send them off to your affiliate links you can send them off absolutely any way you want to do. Now, another thing we have is we have title and subtitle. So title would be jeans, um, style one, and subtitle, um, extra wide fit. I haven't got a clue what I'm writing here, so. Right, so that would be my jeans number one. Now, another thing what we can do on ours, which not a lot of other people can do, is we can have buttons every single Bit of our carousel right so we can add buttons to everything so we can send them off via buttons anywhere we want we can send them off by the picture anywhere we want we can send them anything and anywhere we want to do it right now on a carousel you can only use buttons right which is an important thing to remember so once you get carousel you can do i believe it's nine um nine different carousel items but you can only do buttons so you can have three buttons on each that's all kill cool. and you can then link the buttons back to one of these other things, um, one of these other stops, so say jeans floor, or say t-shirts floor. However, you would need to press save first so that all of these floors are all saved. Right, so this button text here, I wouldn't just put in um, jeans one details. Right, and select the button type, we'll just put in your post back again. Right, so here we go, uh, jeans one details. And as you can see, that's all there. So the next one here, double click on that, put another little picture in, um, put it in here. And this one could have as, you've got to imagine that these are jeans, by the way. All right, jeans, two, and 
jeans too large. So we'll okay that one. And we still have another button here, so all cool. So what I could do is I could right click here and I could make another button, right? And this other button would then say, for example, we could take it back to t-shirts. All right, so button type. Now, if I press post back here, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna show us any post backs because I haven't saved this as yet, All right? So you need to save these, but you need to have things pretty much connected up. So I tend to just do all the back buttons at the end and I'll just go back over them all. So as you can see, really simple. So it's like button type, we're just gonna do post back. I'm gonna okay that. And that's gonna go back to t-shirts. Right, so that's basically how you begin to make it. Now, as I was saying before, you can't have um, on, you can only have buttons, sorry. You can only have buttons onto your carousel. Now most other chatbots, what you're gonna find is you're gonna see their carousels and you can only have buttons on one of them, which is a bit a bit pointless um, to be perfectly honest with you because what's the point in only having a button on one of them when you're showing off different items? You want to be able to sell people to different parts. But we're gonna um, ignore that. We're gonna take that away. And we'll take this one away. Right, now what we could do instead is we perhaps want um, quick replies on there. So we can put the quick replies on. And quick replies, as you can see, we we'll just go straight to a quick reply. We could put another next on, so we could have another picture or a video or an audio image or a file um, if you're giving away for files if you're giving away um if it's a lead generation magnet or something such as this so on the quick reply you have even more choices right so you have the likes of post back phone email and these are going to self-populate the phones and email numbers that they've given over to facebook so you can quickly add the emails right so once you add the emails okay that one so that's going to give us the email thing now this action button remember what we used back here it had a little email thing on, right? So we can put um, bum, 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 bum. email quick reply template and okay, right? And then we can just create a next from there. Now, personally, I don't particularly like using that one. Um, I prefer building some in a new sequence. Now the new sequence, we can build in a separate part but then we can have all the sequences that we want, which we've done in the um, Realtors bot. But this here for now is really quite simple. So as you can see, you've got your carousels, you've got your carousel single. If you want to add another carousel item on after the three it gives you. Um, you've got audio files, so you can put a nice little bit of audio in, which is good as well, because the advantage that you're taking with the messenger bot as opposed to email marketing is it's a two-way conversation. So with email marketing, you're basically just shouting things to people over and over again. Whereas with the chat bot, you're getting their feedback and you can lead them down any particular path that's suited towards them, all right? So you're not just shouting demands at them and buy this, this is great, because um, you don't know none of their problems. With a chatbot, you can go in there and you can find all their problems and lead them down that particular template. And this is what you should be doing because this way, particularly if you can tag them all the way down there, if you're not in the EU, this way you are getting exactly warm leads that you're giving the information that they're wanting to. Now, as I said before, you've got your input flow, um, you've got your download files, you've got your Facebook media, you've got your one-time notifications. Now, this is something that's particularly keen on Messenger um, because Facebook have brought in a load of reg rules and regulations. And what that means basically is you can continue selling to somebody within a 24-hour period. Now, after the 24-hour period, then you have a different set of sequences. But the different set of sequences you're not allowed to actually go out and say, buy this, all right? Now you can say something similar, um, which would be, would you like to see more? And then once they click what that would like to see more, I'll give them another little nice message. And then you can start selling them all over again, because then they have reinteracted with your chatbot and you have another 24 hours all over again. Right, so you've got your new sequences and you've got your sequences single, right? So if we put in sequences here, as you can see, 
we've got an absolute stack of sequences. So we can now follow up. So if on the restaurant chatbot, we have a 20 hour follow up, which then goes in and it asks people, it says, did you enjoy your meal? If they enjoyed the meal, all cool, um, we're all good. We then send them off to whichever platform we want more reviews on. If they didn't enjoy the meal, then we get straight in touch with the management. The chatbot gets straight in touch with management and it tells the management that they weren't happy. And the management can then go and deal with it and save that, that particular person. Now this will work for anybody because you always want your follow-ups. Your follow-ups are massively important. In fact, your follow-ups are more important than initial contact. 85% of all people will not buy straight away. They'll buy at a later date. So what chatbot's going to do for you, it's going to actually nurture that lead and it's going to get that lead to go in there and buy from you. All right. So I'm just going to get rid of these. This is obviously a really, really quick run through how to begin to get your basics together. All right. It obviously gets a lot more in depth. Um, but for now, this is going to keep you right. So basically just keep on adding different things, add the buttons, think about where you want the person's journey to go. Now you might, I used to always plan these out beforehand um, and do an awful lot of planning stages and used to draw them all out on Draw.io, which is a nice program, it's free. Um, and then I could find out exactly where I want them to be and then I would just go backwards. So I would know what I wanted to sell, but then I would work right the way back and find out any sort of problems that I had. So for example, when I'm selling Groove, um, I want to know what industry they're in. Um, do they want a funnel or do they want a website? Um, what is their most important thing? Like, I, what do they class the most important? Do they class getting sales on their website? Do they class um, a funnel? Do they class email marketing? What is it that they want to know about? And then I can lead them exactly with what they choose and then expand on the particular item. With email marketing, you can't do that. You can't you can't get them down the floor because on the email marketing, you're just basically saying, right, here, have a look at email marketing. Well, they might not be interested in email marketing. They might be a lot more interested in, can they make sales through Groove? Um, so yes, they can Groove sell. They might be more interested in how do they get affiliates for their own products. That's the bit that we would then concentrate on, on the bot once they've made that particular choice, right? So this is how you're going to use your chatbot to actually get people down there. So we're going to use this as an inroad um, for people to get in on the system to get and nurture them and to do everything else right so if this has been helpful um please click the little button that says like um because i like that and leave a comment down below because we want everybody to start making more money with chatbots and actually start building the lists everything relies on your list if you can make your list good that's highly interactive you are absolutely flying right thanks very much for watching and speak soon